I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today on Bourbon and Biscuits, we're going to be cooking with ingredients that are at the peak of their season here in Kentucky. We'll be using summer squash and fresh peaches. Let's get started. For our Kentucky summer squash, we'll need two pounds of squash, one onion, two tablespoons of butter, a half a teaspoon each of sugar, salt, and pepper. One of the most abundant things out of my grandparents' summer gardens and here in Kentucky were always this crookneck yellow squash. And my grandmothers had eight ways to Sunday kind of recipes for it. My favorite was probably the fried squash, which we've done on a previous episode. But this is a really simple version that I also loved because it all ends up in a cast iron skillet with butter. Can't beat that, right? So it's really easy. We're just gonna chop up one large onion. Favorite part, right? I ran this under a little water before it started. That might help with the, with the tears. All right, we're literally just gonna do this in a small dice. Do you have your onion? I have wiped down this board because it did get just a little teary off camera. And now we're just going to cube our uh, squash. We're not gonna peel it. That's where the good vitamins are. So we're just gonna do some simple cubing. And whatever you size, size you decide to make, just make sure they're uh, as pretty consistent. So we have some equal cooking once they get to our, our pan. Then when I'm finished with cubing these, we're just gonna simply take them to the stove, cover them with water, and bring them to just a little parboil until they're tender. All right, we have our onion diced and our squash cubed. We're just gonna take this to the stove, cover it with some water, and bring it to a parboil until tender. Okay, our squash was tender, so I took it off the stove and drained it, and I have our cast iron skillet heated up. I'm gonna drop in this two tablespoons of butter. And as that is melting, I'm gonna go on and add this squash even before it gets melted. We're gonna add our half teaspoon of sugar, salt, and pepper. Of course, you can always add any more of any of those to taste. And we are just looking to cook the moisture out of these and we'll have our finished dish. And here we have it, our Kentucky Summer Squash. Well, normally I'd be pitching it to Jessica for one of her famous bourbon cocktails. She's on vacation this week, so she did leave me with a recipe suggestion. She thought fresh peaches would make a great riff on a mint julep, so that's what we'll do. For a peach mint julep, here's what you'll need. Two ounces of bourbon, three fresh peach slices or peach preserves, crushed ice, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, mint infused simple syrup, and fresh mint. So Kentucky is of course known for a mint julep in the spring, but what a great way to take advantage of summer bounty by adding this fresh peach twist. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our two slices of peach, and if you don't, if it's not summer and you don't have access to fresh peaches, you can always use a teaspoon of uh, fresh peach preserves, which I had on hand as well. So we've got our peach in the glass and we're just gonna take our muddler, and in Kentucky we like to use our little mini little slugger bats. I'm just kind of muddle that fruit around. Get it nice and squished up. Now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. This just kind of balances out, uh, gives it a little acidity and uh, keeps this peach from getting brown on us as well. 
Then I have pre-made Jessica's recipe for a mint infused simple syrup. And we're gonna link to that in this episode where she's made it before. And we're just gonna use an ounce of that. Then we're gonna use two ounces of bourbon. I'm gonna use this Four Roses small batch today, make it a little special. That's all there is to the cocktail. We're just gonna mix that up. And then in true mint julep fashion, we're gonna pack this with crushed ice. I believe Jessica's shown many times how she takes just regular ice and uh, breaks it up, crushes it with a mallet or a hammer in a bag. Um, this one we picked up from a, you can get these from local fast food uh, stations or uh, gas stations, which we did today. It makes it nice and easy. And we're just gonna round this out in there like they would serve it up at the track. And then we're gonna take our mint, and I know she's shown you this before where she gives it a little spank just to get the essence of that mint out. So when you hold it up to your nose, you're getting all that aroma. And we're just gonna use that. I'm gonna break that off there. We're gonna use that as a garnish for it. And then I saved one peach slice just to make this super pretty. And there we have it, our peach mint julep. Well, let's see how I did with Jessica's recipe. All right, not bad, but we could use her back. We'll see you next time on Bourbon and Biscuits. Cheers.